right, my people, welcome back. Well, happy birthday to Chief Sunday Igbohu as he clocks 49 years today. All right, my people, the news in details. Also, this Yoruba nation agitator Sunday, a day more popularly known as Sunday Igbohu, is 49 years old today. And uh, meanwhile, coincidentally, today happens to be a uh, Sunday. <laughs> All right, my people, friends, relatives, and uh, supporters are uh, singing his praise on and uh, off social media for bravery and the push for the exit of Yoruba people from Nigeria. All right, meanwhile, the businessman and the philanthropist remains incarcerated in Kotonu, the capital of Benin Republic, since his arrest in July. Well, meanwhile, Igbo's planned travel to Europe through Kajon Airport was foiled by the Benin Republic. All right, and then since his arrest in July. Well, the Nigerian government had alerted neighboring countries after declaring Igbo who wanted for stockpiling arms and uh, threatening to engage the state in a war. Well, Igbo who went underground following the invasion of Isoka residents in Ibadan. All your state security forces arrested associates and uh, seized weapons. Two persons were killed. Well, uh, onto what has been gathered, majority of people have, be, have been of the opinion that Chief Sunday Igboho will remain our man. Chief Sunday Igboho will definitely remain our leader. Mm -hmm. Well, and then as it stands, many things are unfolding. My brother, many things are unfolding. Well, and then majority of people are still of the opinion that as far as this movement, is concerned though, there will be no going back onto this. Hmm. Well, according to what has been gathered, it has been said that Igbo went underground following the invasion of his Soka residence in Ibadan or your state. Okay, and the meanwhile security forces arrested associates and seized weapons. Two persons were killed. A court has ordered the Department of State Services DSS to pay 20 billion naira for damages. Meanwhile, Justice Ladira Kintola of Oyo State High Court condemned the arbitrary aggression and the prejudice. Well, Igboho, whose wife Rupo was freed after initial detention, is facing trial at the uh, at the called the Appel de Cotono in Benin. Meanwhile, the secessionist insists he didn't procure a doctored Benin's passport. Well, and then somebody has said that we should not call Chief Sunday Igboho as a sessionist anyway. I just need to know, correct that. All right, so, okay, okay. And as it is, Chief Sunday Igboho has no, no denied the fact. And according to him, he says he has not procured a doctored Benin's passport and then opposed a trad extradition to Nigeria, where the government has a pile of charges and evidence, as source told Daily, po Daily Post onto this. Meanwhile, Igboho, born on October 10th, 1972, hails from Igboho town in Oke Ogun community in Oyo. He became famous for his role in the Modakeke Ife Komona crisis. The activist often recalls events in the 1999 battle and then how enemies were put down. He doesn't hide the possession of metaphysical powers inherited from his father. Igboho, who earned the Akoni Odua title warrior of Yoruba land, gained national prominence after a seven day ultimatum and the consequent eviction of the second Fulani of Igongon, Saliu Abdul Kadiri, and the king's men. Meanwhile, Sunday Igboho blamed Abdul Kadiri and the S men in Ibarakpa for allegedly orchestrating the abduction 
and the mother of scores of Yoruba indigents. Meanwhile, Festos Ogun, a legal practitioner, criticized President Muhammad Buhari for directing security agencies to subdue Sunday Igboho and Nam the Kano leader of the indigenous people of Bihafra IPOP. The human rights activist said the federal government action was to divert attention from its failure in securing Nigerian lives and properties. Igbo is a Christian who believes in Ifa, the religion of the Yoruba. He has two wives and uh, children, including footballers playing in Germany. All right, my people, and uh, this is what it is. This is what uh, I've been gathered so far. Well, majority of people have you no know, prayed for Chief Sunday. Igbo says happy birthday. Hmm, this is another serious one. Well, my people, this is what it is. So our prayer has been that the good Lord in no time will release Chief Sunday Igbo in wherever he is because he has been a good man. He has you no know, saved a lot of lives. Well, according to DK, it says, well, Sunday Igbo spends 49th birthday in detention from opulent sitting room to dinghy cage. Hmm. Well, the truth of the matter is that he is working for perfection and God is you know, solidly behind him. Well, majority of people have, you know, in one way or the other, you know, prayed for Chief Sunday Go in a day like this. And then, you know, the prayers of the people have gone viral. No, when you do good, definitely good things will follow you. And that's what we have seen so far in the life of Chief Sunday Igboho. He has been a great man. He has been able to put smiles in you know, many people's face. <clears throat> because what he did you know, so far for a lot of people, my brother, it's only God that knows what would have happened to some set of people right now, if not for the intervention of Chief Sunday Igboho. Well, and then we are so sure in no time he would be freed. And then that is just it. In no time, definitely he will be freed. And I pray that the good Lord will continue to protect him wherever he is. Well, and then somebody is saying that in Chief Sunday Igboho, with you, we wish for no other person, hmm, that is another serious one, that we will definitely and we will continue to support you. Happy birthday, long life, and prosperity. All right, my people, that has been it on this one. What more can we say? Me, well, let me have your take on this. And remember to subscribe for more updates if you have not subscribed to this channel. Thanks and God bless.